In this video, you will see what is the top 10 must-have units in update 18. Every units in this video are all obtainable and not from trading. I do want to know what do you think is the best unit in this update 18. Remember to subscribe and like, and with that being said, doo -doo -doo -doo. in no particular order, the first must-have unit is Common Paper Angel. Come on, it's one of the newest heal units, and she became one of the best heal unit because of her Kone Ui, and she is the first heal unit to have a Kone Ui, which is insanely strong in this update 18. Common Paper Angel stats a max upgrade and max level R. 167,000 damage with her SPA at 5.5 seconds, making her damage per second at 30,363.63, which is insanely good, making her one of the best heal units, especially with her Kone Yui and Multa hit at later upgrades, which will be great against shield enemies. How to evolve Common is by defeating countless of the new Naruto Legend stages, which you will be needing 50 red ninja scrolls, 50 blue ninja scrolls. 50 green ninja scrolls which is pretty easy to grind when you have the new naruto units as it will increase your boost rate of the drops in the legend stages the best trait you can have on common paper angel is divine as she is a four placement although if you're going for castle then go for unique common paper angel damage types are physical and air okay next unit is gilgamesh king of heroes Gilgamesh is still one of the best ground unit, especially he will be able to hit both air and ground enemies at later upgrades and even on his unevolved, which is insanely strong in this update 18. Gilgamesh King of Heroes stats a max upgrade and max level R, 518,000 damage with his SPA at 11 seconds, making his damage per second at 46,666, which is one of the best damage per second unit in this update 18. How to get Gilgamesh is by defeating the secret golden portal which you can obtain from the normal fate portal. And there will be a very low chance of getting the secret golden portal so good luck. How to evolve Gilgamesh to Gilgamesh king of heroes is by defeating the new fate portals countless of times which you can obtain through the fate map infinite in this update 18. Gilgamesh damage types are magic and light and the best trait you can have on Gilgamesh is unique as he is a placement. Alright, next unit is Hinami Yotsume. Hinami is one of the best hybrid units, especially she can be played anywhere with her amazing stats in this update 18. Hinami Yotsume stats a max upgrade and max level R, 197,000 damage with her SPA at 6.4 seconds, making her damage per second at 30,781.25, which is insanely strong as she is a hybrid unit, making her the best hybrid unit compared to the other hill units. How to get Hinami is from opening the brand new Spooky Stars, which you can get by spending candies that you can get from the limited Halloween dungeon at the back of the play area. Hinami Yatsume damage types are physical and air. Okay, next unit is Law Room. Law is one of the best ground and support unit in this update 18. Especially, Law is extremely overpowered to bring in Infinity Castle as he is extremely cheap to max upgrade which will be useful in Infinity Castle, leaderboard runs, and many more. Law Room stats a max upgrade and max level R, 150,141 damage with his SPA at 5.9 seconds, making his damage per second at 25,447.62 which is insanely good for a support unit as he has an ability on placement called Jamble. When activated, the enemies will be teleported back which is insanely strong as he is a way better Lulu Gius. Low Room will be valuable in Infinity Castle and Leaderboard runs with his Shamble ability. The Shamble ability affects air, ground enemies, and bosses which is insanely good. Low room is incredibly easy to evolve as you just have to continuously defeat the puppet portal which are easy to defeat even if you are soloing the portal. The best trait you can have on low room is unique as he is a 3 placement and alternative trait you can have on him are Sniper and Divine. He will be able to teleport back more enemies with his huge range. Low room's damage types are Magic and Aqua. Alright next unit is Guts Berserk. Guts is one of the most strongest unit with his full AoE as he will be able to hit both air and ground enemies at later upgrades in this update 18. Guts Berserk stats a max upgrade and max level R, 326,850 damage with his SK at 12 seconds making his damage per second at 
27,237.5, which is insanely strong, especially Guts is a full AoE and will be able to hit both air and ground enemies at later upgrades. Guts also does an addition of 25% bleeding in 4 takes, which is the best take that you can have on a bleeding unit. How to evolve Guts to Guts Berserk is by defeating the Eclipse Portal, which you can obtain through the Win Him Infinite Mode, which is incredibly easy, especially the map is huge, so you can place further back if you are playing solo. Guts Berserk damage types are physical and fire. Okay, next unit is Dazai No Longer Human. Dazai is still one of the best magic ground units since at placement he will get an ability called No Longer Human in this update 18. Dazai No Longer Human stats a max upgrade and max level are 326,000 damage with his SK at 10.3 seconds making his damage per second at 31,650.48 which is insanely strong especially he is also a full AoE which is pretty good. Dazai's ability no longer human makes every enemy loses their status, shield, armored, flying, regen, and many more for 20 seconds, which is insanely strong, so I definitely recommend trying to get Dazai since he will be very useful for leaderboard runs. How to evolve Dazai is by defeating the new port agency portal countless of times, which you can obtain through a portal or can buy the portals from Dazai at the lobby. How to get Dazai is by defeating the new detective secret portal that you can obtain by crafting 4 detective shards which you can get from defeating the port agency portal tier 5 and above. The best trait you can have on Dazai no longer human is unique as he is a 3 placement. Dazai no longer human damage types are magic and light. Alright next in it is pain divine. Pain Divine is one of the newest secret limited unit added in this update 18 and he became one of the best secret units. Pain, Pain Divine stats a max upgrade and max level R, 384,000 damage with his SP at 11.8 seconds making his damage per second at 32,542.37 which is alright you know it's not the worst. At later upgrades, Pain Divine will be able to hit both air and ground enemies and knock back enemies. Oh my goodness, which is extremely strong bro. Like hello? How to get Pain Divine is by defeating the brand new secret portal which you can obtain through the new legend stages. Although, it is a very low chance getting the secret portal so good luck, especially if you are a collector, you already know what to do bro. How to evolve Pain Divine is by defeating countless of the new naruto legend stages which you will be needing 50 red ninja scrolls 50 blue ninja scrolls and 50 green ninja scrolls which is pretty easy to grind when you have the new naruto units as it will increase your boost rate of the drops in those legend stages the best trait you can have on pain divine is unique as he is a three placement pain divine damage types are physical and light Alright, next unit is Thane Hero Slayer. Thane is still one of the best damage per second ground unit in this update 18, which is honestly insane as he gets an ability that he will get at later upgrades, which is extremely strong. Thane Hero Slayer stats a max upgrade and max level R, 91,870 damage with his SP at 5.6 seconds, making his damage per second at 16,405.35, which is insanely strong. Yeah. How Stain Slayer Hero works with his ability is whenever Blood Curdle is activated, Stain's damage will deal 3 times more damage to every bleeding enemy inside his range, then the ability can create 4.5 times of Stain's current damage, and as well as it stuns enemies for 2 seconds. And his ability is not a global ability, which technically you can spam the ability. There is a 10 seconds cooldown though on enemies who have been affected by the ability and the ability cooldown is 20 seconds. Stain Hero Slayer will be extremely good when pairing with bleeding units, especially Guts Berserk, who is still one of the most overpowered units in this update 18 where he will be able to hit air enemies at later upgrades, making Stain Hero Slayer the best especially when Blood Curdle is activated as it will attack every enemies that are bleeding. Stain Hero Slayer Damage types are physical and dark. Okay, next unit is Ainz Overlord. Ainz is still one of the best ground unit as he will be able to hit both air and ground enemies at later upgrades and becomes a full AoE. And as well as he summons units 
which will deal 1 million damage a max upgrade which is extremely strong in this update 18. Ein's Overlord stats a max upgrade and max of LR, 345,152.44 damage with his SP at 10 seconds making his damage per second at 34,515.24 which is one of the most overpowered damage per second especially he will be able to hit both air and ground enemies at later upgrades and becomes a full AoE bro. How to get Ein's Overlord is by awakening the Overlord staff after sacrificing 3 evolved mythic units from Overlord. How to evolve Ein's Overlord is by defeating the brand new Undead Tome Legend Stage which you will have to continuously grind multiple of the Legend Stages especially you'll be needing 10 of each Overlord ring, blue, red, and yellow. Ein's Overlord damage types are Magic and Dark. Alright next in it is Chuya Corruption. Chuya is the best magic heal unit since he is a multi hit at later upgrades and still having the most overpowered stats despite of him being a 4 placement in this update 18. Chuya Corruption stats a max upgrade and max of LR, 212,000 damage with his SPA at 8.3 seconds making his damage per second at 25,542.16 which is insanely strong especially as I have mentioned that he is a 4 placement with the overpower stats. How to evolve Chuya Corruption is by defeating the new port agency portal countless of times which you can obtain through a portal or you can buy the portals from Dazai at the lobby. The best trait you can have on Chuya Corruption is divine since he is a 4 placement and then if you are going for a castle then go for unique. Chuya Corruption damage types are Magic and Fire. Okay, next unit is Alucard Unholy King. Alucard is one of the best ground unit with his overpower ability that he will get at later upgrades in this update 18. Alucard Unholy King stats a max upgrade and max of LR, 447,000 damage with his SP at 8.4 seconds, making his damage per second at 53,214.28, which is insanely strong. What the freak, dude? How Alucard ability work is whenever Soul Restraint level 0 ability is activated, he will be spawning enemies and will be scaling with his current damage which is insanely strong and will be useful for Infinity Castle. How to get Alucard and Holy King is through opening the brand new spooky 2023 capsules where there is a tiny tiny chance for the capsule to drop Alucard so good luck to everyone who is trying to get Alucard Unholy King. And I definitely suggest trying to get him because he is a limited secret unit so if you're a collector then go try and get him. The best trait you can get on Alucard Unholy King is unique as he is a 3 placement and his ability scales with his damage. Alucard Unholy King damage types are Magic and Dark. Okay next in is Griffith Ascension. Griffith is going to be extremely useful in the brand new Legend Stages and Halloween Event Dungeon. So I definitely recommend getting him with Griffith's overpower passive in this update 18. Griffith Ascension stats a max upgrade and max of LR, 20,711 damage with his SP at 6.3 seconds making his damage per second at 3,287.46. If you sacrifice buff units, Griffith will turn into Griffith Reincarnation where it will buff your units by 100% and you can stack your buff with Griffith Reincarnation which is incredibly overpower. If you sacrifice units that aren't considered buff, then Griffith Ascension will become a full AoE DPS which is the most overpowered unit in anime adventures even better than Dio Over Heaven which is insanely strong. Do keep in mind that Griffith does not have a cap making him extremely insanely overpowered so I definitely recommend trying to get your Griffith Darkness damage to 300 plus damage before he transforms because he will be broken. Or Griffith to have such an insane amount of damage with him being a full AoE and a multi hit which will be great against shield enemies. Griffith's buff is based on the cost of the unit which if you have maxed out the units it will give more percentage of the damage buff before Griffith transform and his damage types are dark and magic. Alright next in it is Usopp God. Usopp is the best boss killer in this update 18. Since he is a hybrid on placement which means he will be able to attack both air and ground enemies. Usopp God stats a max upgrade and max level R, 414,182.93 damage with his SP at 5 seconds making his damage per second at 82,836.59 which is the highest damage and damage per second unit in this game currently. Oh my goodness. 
Usopp God is extremely overpowered for Infinity Castle, so I highly recommend getting Usopp God, especially he will be able to carry you early waves in any maps. Usopp God attack types are true damage and air, which means Usopp will be insanely good for Infinity Castle as it will ignore resistance. Okay, next in is Koichi Echoes. Koichi is one of the best ground and support units since at later upgrades he will become a hybrid unit and will be able to slow enemies which is extremely good in this update 18. Koichi Echo stats a max upgrade and max level are 116,811 damage with his SP at 6.3 seconds making his damage per second at 18,541.42 which is pretty good especially at later upgrades this slow will make enemies 80% slower which is basically a freeze and he is actually the first unit in a while to hit both air and ground enemies that slows. How to evolve Koichi to Koichi Echoes is by defeating the new raid Bizarre Town countless of times because you'll be needing 400 killer coins and star fruits for you to be able to evolve Koichi. I do recommend to buy all of the hard bomb raid relics since they will help you once you have bought every single of the hard bomb raid relics. Koichi Echo's damage types are physical and air. Alright, next in it is Sasuke Internal. Sasuke is one of the newest ground units and he became one of the best ground units since he does extremely strong burning damage in this update 18. Sasuke internal stats a max upgrade and max level R, 185,000 damage with his burning damage doing 185,000 with his SK at 8.4 seconds making his damage per second at 44,047.61 with burning which is extremely strong. Equipping the manga kill eye relic will make him even more stronger as it doubles the burn duration. How to evolve Sasuke is by defeating countless of the new Naruto legend stages which you will be needing 50 red ninja scrolls, 50 blue ninja scrolls, and 50 green ninja scrolls. Which is pretty easy to grind when you have the new Naruto units as it will increase your boost rate of the drops in the legend stages. The best trait you can have on Sasuke internal is unique as he is a 3 placement. Sasuke internal damage types are magic and storm. Finally, the last but not least unit is Zid's shadow. Zid is one of the best ground unit especially he does true damage on placement which will ignore resistance and at later upgrades he becomes a full AoE and will be able to hit both air and ground enemies. Zid's shadow stats a max upgrade and max level R, 430,000 damage with his SP at 9.5 seconds making his damage per second at 45,263.15 which is insanely strong on how high his damage per second is and literally he is just that guy as I have said previously bro oh my god. How to get Sid is from the brand new Halloween event dungeon which there is a chance for the unit to be dropped after defeating wave 50 and you can continuously grind and I wish everyone will get him since Sid is extremely strong bro. The best trait you can get on Zid's shadow is unique as he is a 3 placement and Zid's shadow damage types are dark and true damage which means he will be able to ignore resistance. Let's get it. That was everything for this video on the top 10 must have units in update 18. I hope this video helped you in some sort of way. Remember to subscribe and like and I will see you in my next one. Bye bye.